and welcome back to Eurosports coverage of the World Cup final from the Brayhead Arena in Glasgow. And in picture, Irina Kachina from Russia. Irina trains at the CSK Training Club in Moscow. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the different aspects of gymnastics, this is rhythmic as opposed to artistic. And in this World Cup event, we're going to see four disciplines from the rhythmic gymnasts. First, the rope and the hoop, which are in first day's events, and the second day's events, tomorrow, the ball and the ribbon. Arena, part of a very strong Russian trio. Training alongside Barsukova, the reigning Olympic champion, and the beautiful Alina Kabieva, the Olympic bronze medalist. Double illusion turn into the end position. Little bent leg on the second of the illusion turns. Whether it was intended or not, it didn't appear so. And I would think from her body language as she leaves the floor, perhaps she was aware that she had made an error, but just look at the fabulous amplitude of the leaps. The rhythmic gymnasts needing so many qualities. The training is just as taxing, if not more so, than that of a prima ballerina. They have to have flexibility and yet the power to jump. And the hand-eye coordination of a juggler. And yes, that last double illusion turn and the connection of the two turns, that little bit of knee bend which just took away from the polish of that last movement. Two panels of judges, one for technical merit and one for artistry, 